so hello animators in this video I will be talking about a challenge which I feel I always face in animation and I'm facing this challenge from a long time and I'm quite sure that all other animators also face the same challenge challenge I mean a problem so uh, when I animate like after uh, after a pass of one animation I feel that my work is already looking good and I stop seeing the mistake in my work I'm sure even many of you guys also must be feeling the same thing that after you have done a certain amount of work in your animation uh, you start feeling that oh I think there is a good enough detail in my work my work is perfect but in real the work is not good we stop seeing the mistakes in in an animation but when we ask other people they see they can see the mistakes in that animation so I was wondering why does this happen why does our brain stop seeing the mistakes in our animation after after some time and uh, not saying mistake is a one thing but our brain tells us that this is a good work but in real that work is not good so I was uh, recently I was reading a book uh, that book is about a uh, about human nature and I came across this word called grandiosity so uh, grandiosity is a psychological term the meaning of that uh, grandiosity is not being able to see your mistake or we can say that thinking of yourself larger than you actually are or like in simpler words I can say that grandiosity means that you are thinking that you are way more talented or your your work is really nice but in real is something else in real is not that great it's, it's like uh, having a larger picture of yourself in your mind than the reality so uh, I was thinking that this is quite interesting this is very similar to what I face uh, when I do animation but uh, other animators face when they do animation that after some time we stop seeing our mistakes uh, we we feel that our animation is good but it is not good so I, I was I was trying to think that how much does this impact on our career how much does this uh, uh, and first thing I was thinking is is this actually true that we stop seeing the mistakes in our animation or is just uh, because we are not yet experienced animator that's why this thing is happening so I thought about it for some time and I realized that it is psychological it is it's not a, because of experience yes like uh, with experience you keep becoming a better animator uh, and also like the more you learn the more techniques you know the more, the better animator you become but I I've seen in all level of experience I even seen this in experienced animator even in the junior animators that after some time they don't see any mistakes even me uh, after some time I don't see uh, my mistakes but if somebody else asked me about their work if somebody else asked me can you uh, give me some notes about my work I can easily see the mistakes in their work but when when the thing is about my work I don't know why can't I see uh, so this is just our brain playing tricks with us brain wants to feel that we are la we are larger than the reality and I think it it is uh, it cause a big impact on our career imagine imagine a day you wake up in morning and suddenly you are seeing all your mistakes clear you clearly you, you uh, and suddenly you are seeing all your mistakes clearly 
you are seeing all your faults you are seeing you have a clear picture of uh, the your reality so what will happen okay at at, at first you will feel that oh uh, yesterday i was thinking i was this much good but today uh, i am actually feeling that i am i'm seeing the real self of me but from that day you will take the real steps towards the progress because when you are already having a larger picture of yourself and the the steps you will take will also be unreal but if you are having a realistic picture of yourself you will take realistic steps to improve yourself you will imp improve yourself faster uh, you will be able to p predict your future more clearly you will be able to learn more clearly because you know that this is the thing which i don't know and this is the thing which i know so and like especially in uh, if in animation like if if you if you are already thinking that your animation is good and like you did an animation and you are thinking your animation is good there is no chance of learning more there is no chance of polishing your animation more because you already decided your brain already told you that, that this is a good animation so i i think we have to be more rational of our brain we need to look at our our brain with more awareness when our brain wants to get that uh the thing that you know that, that the brain want to feel that yeah this is a great animation stop at that time and be spectacle like be think of it that is this really nice animation try to flip the play blast and see from other uh, fl uh, see the flip play blast and see uh, does this look correct in this way ask your co-workers or co your friends and ask them that how, what do you think about this animation ask your family members what do you think about this animation if you ask professionals that would that would be better so let's see what they say about that animation and if they are giving you notes uh don't feel bad just try to try to uh look from their perspective try to find new perspective from on your animation and be open minded and don't like don't always uh listen to your brain listen to your brain but al always be aware that it might not be correct and i feel that if you if you look at your brain in this way if you are aware about the grandiosity in you then you will uh, you will learn more faster because you will be a realistic person having a realistic view of yourself and the steps and the decision you will make in in animation and uh, in your life it will be even realistic and i feel that uh, from the time i understood this i kind of uh, i i feel that i'm progressing a little bit fast i'm not saying that i'm a professional uh, i'm uh, the information i'm giving is correct maybe i will find something else but right now i'm feeling that that being aware of your grandiosity makes you a better person makes you a better artist and i feel that this is a major challenge which i feel and which i think many other animators feel knowingly or unknowingly and i was feeling that this was a good thing to talk with with you guys and please let me know what you guys think about this and uh, let me know in the comment and like if you think this is a good video and please dislike if you think this is a bad video i want to know that if this is a good topic to talk maybe i can talk about some more challenges which i face and which uh, other animators face and what could can we do about those challenges and maybe we can just make this video as a as a discussion we can discuss about this topic and we can get new ideas that how can we become better artist and better animator than better human being so thanks for watching this video and please stay tuned for the next video and see you next week